Now at six, twisted metal from wrecked cars, damaged walls from smashing impacts. Residents in this plantation neighborhood say crashes like this are nothing new. They say they're used to hearing the sounds of revving engines and tires screeching. Tonight, a demand for change as people say dangerous driving is getting out of control on Knob Hill Road. CBS 4's Ashley Dyer went to take a look for herself. And Ashley, uh, what did you find? Well, guys, congestion and speed, those are the two most noticeable things that we've seen while hanging out here on North Knob Hill Road. We talked to some people who live in these neighborhoods, and they say the most recent concern that they have, drivers racing one another. Well, they're sounding like it was Formula One right here on Knob Hill. Engines revving and tires screeching. Normal sounds in this neighborhood. <laughs> You know, like that. It's all during the day, uh, Monday through Friday, and especially on weekends. Take this strange, but according to locals, not shocking sight. For example, vehicles doing donuts in the middle of a Knob Hill intersection. Every night there's racing. I mean, amazing. They're like on 80, 90, they're doing it. Tanya Josephs lived here for more than 30 years. Oh, those old people shake when they cross that road. Bicyclers get knocked out. She sees drivers making reckless decisions on a daily basis and worries about schools being situated so closely to the busy Knob Hill Road. Oh my God, Knob Hill Elementary and Wellaby are two very dangerous locations for these children. But police say Knob Hill is no worse than any other major roadway in the city. They do their best to patrol all of them and pull over dangerous drivers. One man who's had his house smashed into three times wants to see a more drastic change. More than likely, it's going to happen probably again. He started compiling crash data and a petition to go along with it. We asked a few people about the changes they'd like to see. There needs to be perhaps another traffic light or there needs to be more slowdown signs on non-school days. And the speed limit is there is no speed limit. Both valid concerns, but will they happen? Ahead at 7, I'll tell you about the safety measures that police and the city are considering. We're live in Plantation. Ashley Dyer, CBS 4 News. Ashley, thank you.